All right, so today I'm going to work on flattening my workbench top. There's a few things I'm going to use to do that. I've got a set of winding sticks, a bevel up jointer plane, number seven and a half by Nielsen, a four and a half smoother plane, block plane, straight edge, some beeswax, and a pencil. So these are all the tools I'm going to use. I'm going to start out getting an idea if there's any wind or twist in the board using the winding sticks. Uh, mine are just a couple pieces of hardwood that I've trued up and made very straight. Uh, the first part of the flattening process is going to happen by checking the surface with the straight edge to find any high spots, uh, dips, or, or issues that uh, are causing this top to run out of flatness. I'm going to try to resolve those with the jointer plane and get the, the surface flat both over its width and length as well as work out any wind. Uh, and I've got that set to a fairly heavy uh, shaving, probably about uh, four thousandths of an inch thick. Uh, the block plane is used to champ for the edges of the top to prevent from tearing out the outside edges of the top as I'm flattening. Uh, and then the four and a half smoother is set to take about a one to two thousandth uh, inch thick shaving and that will provide a very smooth finish once the whole piece is done. I use the beeswax to lubricate the sole of my planes and cut down on the friction and then the pencil is used to mark up the surface and give me an idea of the progress that I'm working on. So to use the winding sticks, I place the lighter of the two uh, nice and perpendicular to the edge, uh, square along the width, if, yeah, that's a better way to say it, of the top, and the darker black walnut stick towards the rear, again, trying to be nice and square. Then uh, siding down along the length, I'll get an idea if there's any twist or wind to the board. So I can see that this corner here is a bit high, as well as this outer corner. Those need to go down probably a sixteenth of an inch from each other. So right now, basically, this top is twisted in this orientation. So I need to knock down this corner and this corner to bring it flat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the jointer plane. One thing I failed to mention, or actually show, is how I relieved the edges of the top with the light chamfer. So I've got a little block plane here, and I'll just go around the edges. So now what I've done is reduce the potential for blowing out that outer edge. So I'll check it again with winding sticks and see how the progress is coming. Now that's perfect, so we'll go ahead and move on now. What I'm faced with in this particular top is a dip. So it's lower in the center than it is on the outside edges. By checking it with the straight edge, I can see that. So what I'm going to do is kind of get an idea of the flatness. I'm flat on this end. I've got a dip in here. So now, the only things I have to deal with is a thin depression right in there, and a little depression there. So 
That will come out as I join the length of the top. So that's the next step. That's spot on. So I'll go ahead and join the length of it. That'll get it flat in this direction. One from the plane this way. And then the last step will be just moving. So with that, I'll smooth it out, ready for a light touch, maybe with a little bit of sanding. Not really needed though. It's a dead flat workbench. Ready to make more furniture. Yeah, that's stellar. Very nice.